The brand new Apple MagSafe battery bank for the new iPhones is one of the worst products I've seen from Apple in a long time, and it might decrease the life of your iPhone's battery. Hey guys, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't have to be. And if you like this video, a thumbs up would be massively appreciated. I'm gonna try and make this complex subject as simple and easy to understand as possible for you guys. So let's jump into it. If you've used any modern smartphone, wireless headphones, or battery bank, you would know that when you charge them, heat is generated, and that's normal and that's natural, and that just comes with recharging a battery. Also, if you've ever used a wireless charger, you would know that wireless charging also generates heat. That's because some of the electricity that is transferring from that wireless charging pad to your device is being wasted. And that waste is the heat that you're feeling. And for most cases, that's totally fine. Especially if you're plugging your phone into a MagSafe charger that's plugged into the wall. Now, the first reason that this new MagSafe battery bank is just a terrible product is because inherently using wireless charging is less efficient than using wired charging. And when you have a small battery bank, that makes a big deal. Also, trying to cram more and more wattage into a device is just less and less efficient because it takes more electricity to kind of force its way into your device. That's why the Apple MagSafe battery bank is only charging devices at five watts, which is why if you're using something like an iPhone 12 Pro Max with the Apple MagSafe battery bank, your battery is still going to drain because your device needs more than five watts. But wait, you're probably saying, it doesn't matter that it's not the most efficient thing possible. I can just plug my lightning cable into the MagSafe battery bank and then use that like a MagSafe charger for my iPhone. And that's true. And you're totally right that you can definitely do that. But this is where things get a little bit worse. Heat is an enemy of batteries. That's why companies like OnePlus, Oppo, and Xiaomi, for all of their wireless charging base stations that utilize high wattage to wirelessly charge your device, they have fans and big heat sinks. And they do that to take heat away from the wireless charging coil and away from your device so that they don't damage your battery and so that the charging speed doesn't have to slow down because of thermal limitations set on the device because manufacturers know this and that's why they're not trying to charge a hot device at a high wattage. But wait, this is where the Apple MagSafe battery bank can actually damage your device. Now, we all have cases on our phones and for the most part, a case is a good thing. But, and hear me out, if you're using a case on your device, you need to understand that that case is in many ways acting like a blanket, not allowing the heat that's being generated from charging to escape from the device, keeping your device at a higher temperature for a longer and more extended period of time. And Apple, the company that stopped giving us chargers in the box because of environmental reasons, is giving us a less efficient charger, as well as giving us two things that generate heat. Because remember, the battery in your battery bank is gonna generate heat as it's being used to charge your device. It's also gonna generate heat because you're wirelessly charging it. On top of that, you have these two sources of heat that are now acting as a bigger blanket for your phone. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? It's almost like Apple wants you to kill your battery in the name of having a portless iPhone in the future. And all of this for a hundred dollars. When I saw the price point of the Apple MagSafe charger, I was just astounded because it's not only going to potentially decrease the lifespan of your device. Now, Apple being Apple, they'll probably add some kind of fancy electronic wizardry to try to keep that battery 
temperature as low as possible, but it doesn't change the fact that you're still putting like a heat blanket on the back of your device right next to the battery. Now, Apple could have given us a bunch of other really, really awesome, really, really efficient battery charging banks. Apple could have given us a battery bank that uses lightning to plug into your device and then just sticks to the back of your phone if they wanted to, but no. Because Apple is eventually going to move to a completely portless phone, they wanted to make it wireless. And at $100, it's just not a good value. And it's not something that you should buy at all, ever. And it's not Apple only, because Samsung and Xiaomi and a ton of other companies have Qi wireless charging battery banks for their devices. The difference is that Apple's one sticks to your device and Apple is encouraging users to use their device with this battery bank stuck onto the back. And because of that, I have fault with it. And I really think that if you are looking for a charging solution for your iPhone, that you should just wait a little bit because more likely than not, we're gonna see a whole host of other battery banks that utilize Apple's MagSafe and MagSafe charging protocol in order to give us more thermally efficient, less thermally damaging, and ultimately better designed products that don't have the ulterior motive of trying to sell you a portless phone in the future. Now, if you guys love this video, a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And if you want to connect with me on Twitter and Discord and Facebook, I'll have links, all that stuff in the description down below. And if you guys want to, me to answer other questions about other products from Apple or kind of any brand at all, go ahead and let me know what those products are in the comment section down below. I try to respond and after I post all of these videos, I'm on Discord voice chatting with you guys, sharing memes, and talking about news. Don't forget, every Friday we have the news wrap-up show, and if there's stories that you want me to cover, hit me up. Peace.